Hey there, Oscar. My functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. Even if you are my first and only passenger. Me? Your passenger? Yes, you, Kate Walker. Is it not for that reason you completed my production process? If you say so. Oscar, you know you could just call me Kate. It would be so much nicer, especially as we're going on such a long journey together. I am sorry, Kate Walker, but I have already logged your name. I cannot modify this data, and my functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. Well, I hope your functions permit you to learn the difference between being familiar and quite simply nice. I... I have decided to come along for the ride, Oscar. Ready when you are. Your ticket, please? My ticket? What are you talking about? The rules clearly state, Kate Walker, every passenger of this train must possess a ticket. Okay. And where do I get hold of a ticket? Only the ticket vendor may issue tickets. You are in luck. The ticket office must be open now. You should go there immediately. It's you? What can I do for you, madam? But, Oscar, it's me, Kate Walker. Correct. Your name is indeed Kate Walker. Oscar? I am sorry. Well, I hope you're fine. What can I do for you, Kate Walker? <laughs> A train ticket, please. Why? Do you sell anything else? The only function of this ticket office is to issue tickets. You are requested to accelerate operations. The office closes in exactly three minutes. What can I do for you? A ticket, please. One ticket? Yes. One ticket. What is your final destination? Uh, I don't know. It's you who told me I had to get a ticket. A ticket to travel, then. There you are. Do not lose it. This office is not entitled to produce duplicates. This advice also applies to the accompanying documentation. What's that? The authorization for the release of the train. The ticket officer may ask you for it at any time. But I mean, you are the... Attention! The exact moment has arrived to close this office. It's me again, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Why aren't we setting off, Oscar? I must abide by regulations. Your ticket, please, Kate Walker. Oscar, if you were in my shoes right now, what would you do? My reasoning mechanism does not permit me to manage problems outside the mandate of my own functioning. I can't wait to meet Hans Varlberg. What about you? I would find the experience inordinately gratifying. And I won't forget to congratulate him on the success of his incredible automaton. Why, thank you, Kate Walker. This train is amazing. I'm going to travel like a princess. I am happy that you like it, Kate Walker. This train has been designed to optimize passenger comfort. Are you the only automaton on the train, Oscar? I have been designed to attend to all tasks 
relating to the smooth functioning of the train and the comfort of its passengers. Okay, okay, Oscar. I don't doubt your talents for a second. Poor Madame Vorlberg. I'm sure she would have loved to come along. This train was designed for only one passenger, Kate Walker. So, it's like I've taken her seat. Don't think for one moment that I'm bored of you, Oscar. But I have to go. I also have much to attend to, Kate Walker. Here. This is the authorization for the release of the train. It has not been signed, Kate Walker. Oscar, you're going too far. You just gave me this. Does the train belong to you, Kate Walker? No. So there. This train cannot leave Aladdin without the agreement of its owner. I don't think Madame Varlberg is in a position to sign anything right now. In that case, the stamp of her legal representative is perfectly sufficient. Please hurry up, Kate Walker. This train will soon depart, and I must ensure it is not delayed.
Here, this is your stupid train release ratification, Oscar. Thank you, Kate Walker. That is perfect. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. I don't understand why we can't leave. I'd hate to think it's me that's delaying the train like this. I do not wish to appear impolite, Kate Walker, but I am afraid that not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. If that's a joke, Oscar, it's not very funny. I really need to find Hans Vorlberg as quickly as possible. I have strict instructions to obey. There are three spaces in the luggage compartment that are designed to accommodate two very important objects. The train can only depart when they are in place. Please excuse me now. I must return to my departure preparations. Oh, I wouldn't want to break any rules. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. I don't understand why we can't leave. I'd hate to think it's me that's delaying the train like this. I do not wish to appear impolite, Kate Walker, but I am afraid that not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. If that's a joke, Oscar, it's not very funny. I really need to find Hans Vorlberg as quickly as possible. I have strict instructions to obey. There are three spaces in the luggage compartment that are designed to accommodate two very important objects. The train can only depart when they are in place. Please excuse me now. I must return to my departure preparations. Oh, I wouldn't want to break any rules. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. I don't understand why you're still refusing to take this ticket. Everything is in order, and an engineer prides himself. On punctuality. Yes, Oscar, I remember. But what now? But what's up, Oscar? Why haven't you returned to your engine room? If I may be so bold as to express a personal opinion on this matter, Kate Walker? I'm all ears, Oscar. I fear we have omitted to wind up the locomotive springs. Is that all? Then let's do it for Christ's sake. I'm afraid I have no notion of how to implement this function, Kate Walker. It would seem that the makeshift completion of my production process is responsible for a lack of instruction on this matter. Okay, right. I'll see to that myself then. I mean... A wind-up train can't be that complicated. You wait there. I won't be long. Thank you, Kate Walker.
Kate, it's me again. Dan, I was gonna call you. Yeah, yeah. Are you mad at me? I've just called Marson and Lormont. They told me you weren't expected to return this week. Oh, yeah. So when are you coming home? I don't know. There's nothing I can do about it. The situation is kind of tricky, you know. At the beginning of next week, I hope. Yeah, whenever. Dan, please, just hang in there, okay? The stakes are higher than I thought, and you know how much I love this job. I suppose it's neither here nor anywhere to you that the Goldbergs are going to... It is. I mean, it isn't. I mean, Dan, this really isn't the moment. You know I'm thinking about you. I love you, sweetheart, and I'll give you a call when I have some news. Promise. I've got to go now. I've got kind of a, a train to catch. A train? Where are you off to now? This is crazy, Kate. To tell you the truth, I've no idea. Love you, honey. You know that. Kate! Right, everything is in order then. The train is finally ready to leave. I am most terribly embarrassed. Such ignorance on my part is inadmissible. I hope you still have confidence in my abilities, Kate Walker. Please, return to your seat and we can leave. Finally. Where are we, Oscar? At the Halls of Residence of Barockstadt University. And do we really have to stop here? The situation is incompatible with the pursuit of our journey. What are you waiting for, then? Wind them up. Find a way. There must be some sort of train winding thing just laying around in this weirdo station. I have seen nothing that fits that description, Kate Walker. I guess we'd better find out, then. I do not like this station. The atmospheric humidity is detrimental to my sophisticated wheel workings. I will wait for you inside the train. <sighs> Wimp. And to think that when I first became a lawyer, I was worried I'd get stuck behind a desk. Is something wrong, Kate Walker? Is the restaurant car service not to your liking? Would you like another pillow? Don't worry, Oscar. Everything's just hunky-dory. And you are just hunky-dory, too. Oscar, we have a serious problem. How can we carry on our journey if this train doesn't want to budge? What are our options? Every clock has its key, Kate Walker. Keep looking. Well, I hope you're right. I'm gonna go see what I can find. Oscar, there's no way you could help me find a way to wind the train back up again? Rust awaits my every movement if I leave this train, Kate Walker. And what would you do with a rusty engine driver? Hmm, not a lot, I suppose. Oscar, 
I think that Hans Vorlberg once stayed in this town after he left Valadilen. Maybe this wasn't a chance stopover after all. Nothing is left a chance in a railroad network. You agree with me then? We have no concrete proof to support your hypothesis. The train stopped because the clockwork mechanism is unwound. That is the only concrete evidence we have, Kate Walker. I was just hoping for a little imagination on your part, Oscar. No, Kate Walker. I am only an automaton, Kate Walker. This train might be a wonder of technology, but the engine's limited autonomy is a liability. You got to admit that. I am afraid I refuse to entertain this consideration, Kate Walker. Oscar, see you later, alligator. In a while, Kate Walker. <laughs>